Inequality has been rising in America. It used to be the top 1% of earners, here in red, owned a relatively small portion of the country's wealth. Middle and lower earners, in blue, had the largest share. Then, 15 years ago, the lines crossed. And inequality has been increasing ever since. There's many factors that are driving inequality today. And unfortunately, artificial intelligence, without being thoughtful about it, is a driver for increased inequality. Because it's a form of automation. And automation is the substitution of capital for labor. And when you do that, the people with the capital win. So Karl Marx was right. It's a struggle between capital and labor. And with artificial intelligence, we're putting our finger on the scale on the side of capital and how we wish to distribute the benefits, the economic benefits that that will create is going to be a major moral consideration for society over the next several decades. This is really an outgrowth of the increasing gaps and ha of haves and have-nots. Um, the wealthy getting wealthier, the poor getting poorer. It may not be specifically related to AI, but, as, 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 but AI will exacerbate that. And that, I think, will tear the society apart because the rich will have just too much and those who are have-nots will have perhaps very little way of digging themselves out of the hole.